Paris was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Here we are, our last break of the day. On this Friday, it's been a good day. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. never Fun. mad on a Friday. Never. I know, and hey. love is in the air. Yes, yes, it is. It's Valentine's weekend and everything. And Carla, you know, we got to say thank you to everyone uh, who joined our happy hour, our live happy hour on Steve Harvey FM Facebook yesterday. Thank you to Seagram's Escapes and everyone who joined us. We had such a good time. It, you know, we haven't spent time together in a while because of COVID and everything, but it was fun kicking it with my girl. Yes, <laughs> my partner in crime. We had a good mm-hmm. time. And like we you did. said, Shirley, just want to shout out to all of our listeners. Mm-hmm. They, they asked about you guys. We got some loyal listeners. Tommy, they love the prank call. Steve, <laughs> they love everything about you. Jay, uh, Junior, everybody. So it's just so yeah, good I was in to. That. I enjoyed it. I yes, you were there. Thank you, Junior. Yeah, we appreciate, we appreciate that. that. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, I came yeah, in yeah. There. I had to see it. I was, I yeah. was actually picking up women while y'all was in that car. <laughs> Oh, oh, you were in there macking. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Taking on profile pictures. That's what mm-hmm. I was doing. It was oh. a lot of fun. We're going to do another one April 1st. So we'll let you know in plenty of time, of course. But it was a lot, a lot of fun. And the drinks Had were good, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Seagram's Shirley, escape. Shirley, how you show up on the Zoom with a martini glass? Well. <laughs> Get it popping. Thank you, Seagram's Escapes. That was a strawberry daiquiri, I'll have you know, that I was Uh sipping on. Uh, (laughs) Yummy. Yeah, it was good. Fun. We had a good time. Congrats, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. What's on your mind, Mr. Harvey? I don't really, you know, uh, it's just been a great day. You know, looking Uh forward to a nice weekend. It's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good time for everybody to kind of pick up the phone. Uh, not in terms of Valentine's, but I think it's important to pick up the phone and tell people that you haven't told you love them in a while to tell them you love them. Mm. Because the older we get, the more we realize, man, it's a lot of people just leaving here, man. Yeah. And I, it's important to uh, give people the roses while they can still smell them. Just call, call it, you know, just a relationship you've had. I had a partner of mine that told me that, uh, man, me and my mom ain't talked in 30 years. I said, what? What? 30 no, years? No, bro, 30, 30 years, man? You're yeah, I ain't brother. talking to my mom, man, about we fell out, man, and I, she ain't said nothing to me. I ain't said nothing to her. I said, bro, why don't you pick up the phone and call your mama? I said, how's she doing? I don't really know. Wow. I said, bro, can I tell you something? If I were you, I would pick up that phone and call my mother. I said, because I don't know what happened to y'all 30 years into your relationship. Because this dude in his 60s. And if he hadn't talked to his mama in 30 years, he was 30-something years old when he stopped talking to her. I said, brother, you're going to get a phone call one day. And on that other end, they're going to tell you that this person who gave you life is gone. I got news for you. I don't care who you are. You are going to hurt, brother, in a way like you've never hurt before. It is something 
about that woman that gave you life when she leave here, it is it's different, man. It's different from all of them. It's it's a heart wrenching moment, man. I mm. said, if I was you, man, I would call and fix that. Well, you know, I was letting on she, you know, she the ones did something to me. I was gonna let her. I said, bro, bro, hold up, man, hold on. You a man? What what, what you talking about? You know, and that goes back to something I've said all along about just physical relationships with a woman. What does it matter who's right or wrong when love is gone? Mm -hmm. I mean, man, if she gone, what do it matter who was right or wrong? Do you know that will not play out at the funeral? Mm -hmm. That will not play out in your mind, man, when you bury her. Listen, let this weekend be a time to put some stuff behind and set some ill will towards one another to the side you know don't even don't hold on to it man you know that's like a cancer man you know that's what's really wrong with a lot of people they're harboring ill will towards somebody else they got some thing with another person that they will not let go of and when their name comes up when the subject comes up, they go into this negative spin. It's ugly, man. It's really, really ugly. Guys, let it go, man. Let it go. It ain't worth it. It's like a cancer. It's eating away at you. Just call them up and tell them, hey, look, I know I ain't talked to you in a while, but I was thinking about you. I just wanted to say I love you, man. I hope you're doing well. You know, I ain't looking for nothing in return. I just wanted to say I love you and I wish you well, man. Peace. Yeah, that's all it need. You're not going to believe how much better you feel. You're not going to believe how much better they going to feel. Mm. You're not going to believe how much better it, it'll change the both of you. But like I've always been taught, forgiveness ain't for the other person. It's really for you. So give yourself the gift of love and forgiveness this weekend. Pick up the phone and tell everybody you love that you love them. And tell anybody that you got any ill will or hard feelings towards, it's over. I squash it. Forgive me, man, for whatever role I played in it. If I hurt you, I wish I had no. I missed your friendship. I missed our time together. And man, if there's anything I can do to repair that, I just want to say, forgive me. And man, let's just squash this. You know how many times I've apologized to people mm -hmm. just to make the situation right and I wasn't even wrong? You'll have a great weekend. It'll do a lot for your spirit. Y'all have a great holiday weekend, okay? All right. <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. 
and I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union... ...cars were like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, here we are, our last break of the day. Woo! All right. <laughs> Kamala Harris. <laughs> good day. Chosen. It's a good Wednesday. Yes. Women, yes. women crush Wednesday. Yes. Right, Shirley? Yes. Yes. yes, she is our woman crush today. That is true. Crushing on her. Yes. yes. Crushing on Kamala. <laughs> Kamala Harris. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she looked better than both her opponents. congratulations Mm -hmm. yeah there's still more work to be done 83 days left until the election november 3rd we want to vote early though steve yeah um listen everybody we are pushing this i had a really serious uh conference call with two of my frat brothers uh dl hughley and ricky smiley and we got together because we happen to be all men of Omega Sci-Fi. Uh, and as we were talking, we decided to unify, to set aside the fact that we were on competitive stations, sometimes in competitive markets, and sometimes in competitive radio ownership. Because there's something more important here. And we decided that since we were such a huge part of radio in mornings and in and in the afternoon drive, the three of us got together, researched the best website, and decided to unify. Because it doesn't matter. We are all in this together. It is not time to to be divisive on this subject of the presidency and voting. The brothers of Omega Sci-Fi, we are not the only frat. I understand that. There's some great fraternities out there. Tommy's a member of KA Psi. Jay is a member of Phi Beta Sigma. Roland Martin is an alpha. Hill Harp is an alpha. There's some great brothers out there. There's some great sisters out there. Zetas, Deltas, Sigma Gamma Rose, AKAs, the Iotas is out there. You know, it's some bad, it's some bad people out there. Listen to me. That ain't what this is about. This is about us, all of us, as a part of this country, positioning ourselves to make it better for those people who have to deal with and, and level themselves and comprehend with all the policy that's going to come out of this White House. We have been on the receiving end of some bad policies to come out of that White House. Don't you think for a minute that these immigration laws, this banning of Muslim travel, the ending of the DACA program, don't you think calling all of these NBA players nasty, supporting all police no matter what, never trying to make 
the protesters feel better in the Black Lives Movement. Don't you think that every negative thing he's ever said about any person of color who has stood up and protested for their rights that they shouldn't have to protest for. See, we're supposed to have these rights. You would be sick and tired of fighting for rights if they was yours in the first place that you were supposed to have while we got to fight for them. But we have a president, man, that don't raise his voice about your rights. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of this. I'm sick of his policies. I'm sick of his divisive rhetoric. I'm sick of him supporting everything that got that's against all people of color. He got the nerve to say, I've done more for black people than any president since Abe Lincoln. What'd you do? Y- are you talking about the prison reform bill? Well, thanks for signing it, but I ain't never been to prison. The majority of black people I know have never been to prison, never even visited one. The majority of men that I grew up with have never seen the doors of a prison. So appreciate the pre- uh, 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 reform bill, but can I tell you something? All you did was correct a wrong. Half the people you freed shouldn't have been in there in the first place. But because we have such an inequality in our judicial system, we flood the gates of the prisons. And so you came along and passed a bill that righted it wrong. Thanks. Appreciate that. But you didn't do that for black people. You did that so you could get black people to think you done something for them so you could be president again. You ain't ever done nothing for black people. Who you rent your places to, uh, your all's policy against renting from uh, average citizens. Oh, you let rich people stay in your buildings. I've been in there. You ain't got no problem with that. But that was long before you was president. But see, sir, we are tired of the divisiveness and we want to change. And in order to change, we have to vote. Me, Ricky Smiley, and D.L. Hughley have gotten together. We are calling on the entire Panhellenic Council, every black Greek organization, 100 uh, black men, all the social groups out there to come together. Everybody that's ever went to a HBCU, anybody that's ever been to a college of any kind, anybody that ever thought about going to college, we got to register everybody we know. Here is the registration place that we decided was best. It's called vote411.org. Vote, V-O-T-E, 411. 411 is information. Vote411.org. Go there. It'll tell you everything you need to know about voting. When you can early vote. When you can absentee ballot vote. What you have to do to be registered. When's the last day you can register? Me, D.L. Hughley, and Ricky Smiley are on the same page. Join us. We voting. He gots to go. Period. Man, I'm Had enough of this here. <laughs> yeah. Vote it's 411. Dot, no, he gots to go, man. I don't know what else to say to y'all. This is crazy. <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? 
that he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass, and I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. Personally, like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh Uh-huh. I sure will. Uh, good morning, everybody. You are listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. <laughs> one and only. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Got a radio show. Yeah, man. Got one. Hey, you know, um, I, I thought I think of my life in terms of blessings. You know, I, I take mostly a positive approach and a positive spin to my life. I hardly ever dwell on, uh, you know, the what's well i can't say that i don't think about the what's wrong in it because i have to because i have to address problems as they arise but i try not to let them consume me i let the consumption part be about the blessings the positive things that uh has occurred in my life the good things that god has done for me the the power that he's uh displayed in my life the protection he's given me over the years to being tucked under his wings I focus on the things that he promises me. I think of uh, all the goodness that I perceive to come my way. I I think that has a lot to do with me learning more and more about the law of attraction in terms of, you know, what you think and what you put out in the space and what you pray about is what you receive, you know. And so I've become better and better at that. That's not to say that I'm, I'm not human and I don't have moments where I I think a little bit too long about what's going wrong and what enemy is, is about to attack and what they're going to do and say and, and all of this here. So it's not to say that I'm not concerned about it, but I try to dwell mostly on the positive. And um, one of the things that I learned, you can have an incredible life. All of us, we can have incredible lives if we just let God drive. See, the, the problem that I had years ago was I was the driver of my life and I was taking myself in the directions that I thought would be best for me. And I aimed at things that I thought I could accomplish. And I set goals that I saw myself being able to attain. I was driving. When I gave up and I let God drive, I then opened up my mind and my spirit to what God had for me, for what God could see for me, for what God could do in my life, for for what God wanted for me. Now, he wanted for me and he wanted of me. See, that's the connection that you got to try to make. Well, not try. That's the connection that you got to make to really get it. Now, listen to me. What I don't want you to do is do like me. Don't be afraid of the what for. Of the what he wants you to do part. See, because that ain't going to be nearly as demanding and, and as offsetting as you think it's going to be. See, I thought that if I did God's will, that if I let God tell me what to do, 
that it would cause me to not to be able to do a certain some things I wanted to do. Well, which is true. But the stuff I wanted to do was all detrimental to my well-being and my future and my and my growth and development as a man. I was stopping my own growth as a man because, see, I was doing what I thought I should do as a man. But when you give it over to God, see, God has a much better plan for you than you can ever have for yourself. And God knows a better way, far better than the one you know. I, I want you to believe that, man. You got to understand that part of it. And, and that's the part that I finally got through my head to let God do it his way and to show me a better way. And to teach me a better way and expose to me a better way. And when I opened up my mind to what God was talking about, I began to see things totally differently and things started coming to me totally differently. If you've been a friend of mine or a fan of mine over the years, I mean, you've had to see it, the change. You've had to see the difference. I mean, and I and I acknowledge that every chance I get. Because I promised God I would, and I hope that I'm not falling short in that category. But then again, if I told it all day long what he done for me, I still wouldn't have enough time to really explain thoroughly what he's done for me because it's such a continuous growth in me. But now, that's not to say that I'm finished or I'm done or I'm complete because I'm still short. You can't be him. You can strive for perfection. I hear people saying it all the time. I applaud you for saying you want to be perfect, but you ain't and you can't. And so you quit saying it. You quit saying it to me. Quit saying it to other people. I'm seeking a life of perfection, but it's something that you cannot have because he said you can't do it. But that's what he'd have for. He'd have for the moments when you stumble and you fall and you gonna stumble and fall. So you got to get that part right, man. The stumbling, falling part is coming. But see, you get God in your life and it helps you so that you don't stumble, fall, wallow, roll over, lay there, languish. That's what God is for. So when you stumble and fall, you get back up because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get it wrong. You're going to come under attack. You're going to be lied about. You are going to be falsely accused. That's going to happen to you the moment you make a decision to do better. The moment you try to be more, the devil got to send his attackers, man, and he controls certain people. He just got people that's on his side 24 seven. You know, them too. you you've all met one or two of them in your life. They just busy with the business of nothingness. They just busy about the about the destruction of others. You said, I know, them. you know, them. they coming. But here's what you got to hold fast to. They can't take away nothing from you that God gave you. They didn't make you. See, people who claim to have made you, if they so in the make you business, why don't they make they self? Or if they ain't with you no more and they so busy in the I made you business, why don't they make somebody else? Since, since, since you want to get credit for making somebody, make yourself. If you're responsible for someone else's success, then you should easily be able to take claim and be responsible for your own success. See, be careful of that. And don't and, and don't don't change your course because somebody's attacking you with that. I just hope, man, that I'm giving it to God the way I said I would give it to him. That I would unload every chance I got that I was supposed to, without being, you know, oh, here he come again. You know, I try not to be that. But man, I don't know what else to be for the first 12 minutes of my show. What else you want me to say? I got four hours. I can't give God 12, 12 minutes, man. I mean, for real, Steve, come on, man. I mean, let's look at this right here. If you give an honor to God, just 12 minutes out the day, dog, he gave you 24 hours of luxury and life and breath and hope and promise. You ain't got 12 minutes to give him out the day. That don't make no sense. What an exchange. What a wonderful life God has given me in exchange for so small of effort that I put forth. Don't let the effort you got to put forth to God seem so daunting that you don't attempt to do it. Because, man, it seems like a lot. It ain't nothing compared to what he be giving us for real. So if you want a real life, you want a real shot at what you can be, what you can have, what you can own, what you can become, who you really are. Go to God. Let him fix you, man. That's all. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. 
It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. Cars were like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science, and the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price? Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back. It's our last break of the week, actually. Man. Yeah. yeah. Friday. Friday, Friday baby. baby. Mm-hmm. Woo. Yeah. Hey, Junior. Junior. What up, boy? You got to remember this name because, you, you know, we like sports. Jamie Graham. Jamie Graham. Okay, Jamie Graham. Okay. Got that. What you okay. think he play? Jamie Graham. Yeah. Uh, football. Mm-hmm. Number one cornhole player in the world. Man, you what black. What did I tell you? <laughs> Carla, we were talking about no. this yesterday. You, yeah, you me and Jamie were talking about it. We I didn't bought the game. <laughs> yeah. Big, you done got a cornhole? Hey, man. Oh, that's big. all I do in the backyard is throw Tommy, them down. Tommy, Tommy, can I tell huh? you something? I'll yes, sir. Beat your ass, <laughs> I bet you can't, Steve. You know I, I bet you can't. I will. I will beat all of you. I'll beat your ass. I, I, I know the rules. That 27, the 27 feet away. I got that you, man. That and horseshoes. Y'all no, don't even no, understand. Steve, it's not gonna I ain't good at horseshoes. It's not going to happen. It's well, not. Cornhole, I'm telling you right now, dog. Oh, I got a question. Oh. Can y'all yeah, do this virtually and, 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 and do it and beat each other or, or play virtually? No, 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 no. We got to put some mask on and just do it. <laughs> yeah, we always. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I want to see this, but I want to see okay. it. Black mask, cornhole, something. Yeah, Tournament. competition <laughs> in your backyard at your house. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you get your ass whooped, won't be no excuses. <laughs> Cause that yes. little board is the same board that holds Everywhere. the same, ho- and I need that in same, same size, the sack. same distance. It's I'm the same. You right distance. now, dog, I ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> Man. Oh, I want to okay. see this. I, I need to right. guy. Okay. Okay. You got the game. You know what I like about show Steve? It, it is a, it's a trash talking sport, too. It, it is, man. Yeah, it's it a is. trash talking is sport. It? Oh, yeah, you can talk yep. trash. I'll be watching yeah. the tournament, yep. though. I do watch yeah. the tournament. Uh, oh, they don't say nothing in the tournament. No. It's dry. No, no, they're quiet. That's, but in the backyard, dog. when you playing somebody, man. Backyard? That's Ooh. like watching Axe throwing championships. Yeah. Oh, that's good, too. I <laughs> but, like that but one. But you know what I like about the cornhole, though? I like after they throw the bean bag, and then they take their Gatorade and take a squirt. Like, they really did something. <laughs> <No. laughs> 
They athletes. But uh, dog, have you ever seen a dude having a bad day on TV? <laughs> uh, I'll be going, hey man, uh, why are you throwing your bag today? Oh, they spin that bag in their hand by seven times, don't they? Uh, <laughs> they looking down. I done seen some bad boys. I done seen where they landed in it with just it ain't went in the hole yet. And then they last throw, they jump, they drop the that one in the hole and the one they throwing. Them some bad boys, man. Yeah, my husband. You can do that on this too. Corn, dog, what's it called? Corn. Tommy, I'm gonna just Corn tell you hole? right now. Okay. Hey, dog, I surround the hole where you can't get yours in there unless you drop it straight in the bucket. You ain't and that then good. Then I come dog. through there and sweep them up. All right, I'm just telling. You. Okay. Put some, okay. Okay. We gotta get your okay. money out. He said, "Put some money up." <laughs> get your money out. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, y'all, listen. Uh, we talk about this, but every day I gotta remind us how important we are as a people. How powerful we are, how highly sought after our vote is. Our vote is so valuable. They all know it, man. We can sway elections. Joe Biden's whole campaign was in trouble until he got to the Carolinas and Representative Claiborne got behind him and turned out the African-American vote and resurrected his entire campaign. And after that, it started sweeping. You are so powerful. I'm telling you, man, why do you think Donald Trump went out and hired these black people to run this campaign and they came up with the slogan, stay woke? The problem is it didn't catch on because everybody woke up to what he was doing. It was COVID-19. It was the uh, economy. And it's just crashing all around him. You know, the stock market has gone down and he wants to take credit for it if it's up, but he don't want to share no blame when it's down. We have a man in the White House and I, regardless as to what the six black people that they keep finding to go up there and tell him how great he was and he was better than Obama and you, you're technically our first black president. It just amazes me what people will say, man, for a dollar. We're not going to be swayed by none of that. Black Lives Matter does matter. And just just the other day, when the mayor painted Black Lives Matter in the middle of in front of Trump Towers, do you know that this president had the audacity to say, after all I did for him, I gave him ventilators, PPE supplies and all of this here. I gave him everything and he turns around and writes this Black Lives Matter all over this beautiful street. Like Black Lives Matter is some ugly degrading thing. Like it's defacing city property. This is the same president that puts out a tweet and then goes play golf and the first word out of the man's mouth on the golf cart is white power and then they try to catch him but he's on the golf course so for three hours it stays up and then when they do catch him he tries to disown himself and say he didn't hear the man say white power it's the loudest thing on the damn tape everybody else heard it are we kidding man we cannot sit this election out black lives do matter they really do and we have to show him that it matters to us that our lives are important to us. And we're going to vote, man. We're going to vote in Pennsylvania. We're going to vote in Michigan. We're going to vote in Wisconsin. We're going to turn out to vote in Georgia. We're going to sweep up all the Carolinas. We're going to show up at the polls in Florida. We're going to mess them up in Louisiana. We're going to blow their mind in Mississippi. Because these in Texas, these are red states. we going to show up, man. We got numbers in all these places. We're going to stop playing with this. Black Lives Matter, we're going to vote. We are getting ready to vote in November. It will be, it, there will be no more four more years of this. Not him. No, sir. No, sir. Well said. Oh, yes. Keep that morale up, baby. You see what's coming. Look at We your early window. voting, too, baby. We going early. You Look at your window. You'll see what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys. 
is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around with like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Steve, here we are, last break of the day. Time for you to uh, leave us with some closing remarks. Yeah, you know, I try to uh, find different ways to encourage they ain't never met you and they don't care about you. You should not care about what they think. Those are my remarks. Have a good weekend. Drop it. Boom. Yes. No, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. 
and I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him. Thank you.